Welcome back. This is the Football Made in Ghana on City TV. My name is Bini Sankara. So like I talked before the break, today we're going to discuss May night. You know, so usually I go bring the guests, but I tell the guests, today may they say some, please. I go bring them later. Today, me now, I want to talk one or two things about May night. So somebody go wonder, somebody will start follow Ghana football recently, go based on body say, ah, what about this May night matter? So like I talked, 2001, May night, there'll be some Wednesday nights where Haas and Kotoko meet for Accra Sports Stadium. There will be huge game in terms of the league. That time they had day form, they win Cup Champions League, they win FA Cup, they win the league, they do treble, they win Super Cup. So then the day on form, mad form, where Kosoko come town, they had a kind of time where then I'd be teenager, and I don't know if I write BC to finish. We are not say that night. That day it rained. So on Wednesday, it rained, giddy, 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 with the night time, the game go on. The go on, ah, where Kosoko score first. We has tier Ishmelado. It's here 1 1. Where Ishmelado now scored the second goal. Some very nice. The second goal, he dribbled the keeper where he scored 2 1. Now, as the, he scored that second goal, then some fans, some of say because of fans, whatever, they say the goal be offside. So they ball. You know, but this day and age, then VR, then VR no day. So it'll be the assistant referee, then the referee be there now, they go decide on decisions. The people say then the goal be offside. So as they know like the decision, they start come out chairs where they start throw the chairs onto the Accra Sports Stadium pitch. Now they cry where the game end. So we there, we be there. Ah, we go here now, story start come through radio and TV and since that time then plenty TV stations no day like that. But the new star filter choose, and then Twitter self no day, Facebook self no day. So there be rumor, radio and since they start a break news, say Charlie, so that some people die for the stadium. Me as I hear a shock, I say, ah, it not be football game boys go watch. The football game boys go watch, we, they say now they die. So as the time they go on, between May 9th and May 10th, we, now the picture start be clear. What happened, they say, as the people start throw the chairs onto the, the pitches and things, the pitch, you know, armed police where they did on, on, on duty that day, they start fire tear gas for the crowd that are inside. So now, they're more for move. If anybody you experience tear gas, they like pepe. For those the boys with the no no tear gas, they like pepe. So now you for find some place and you know suck water, maybe they take water, put your top. You for just find open air, so say you go feel breeze. So if you watch the screen top, that be what's helping that night. They fire tear gas into the crowd. Way now, boys for look for some place go do. As it turns out. As the more they congregate, the more they come out for the stadium inside. They go choke for some entrance. So they giddy giddy inside. Hey, my main call. Hey, make a go. And my things. Where boys stampede on them. body away. They carry them, go to the hospital. In the end, 127 people where they confirm officially say they die. So for the record, it be 127 people. Some people they talk say it be more. That we don't know. So 127 people die May 9th. They go watch Haas and Kotoko where they die. So, after that, everything makes slow because, Charlie, we never hear some before. So, people go watch ball where they go die. You know, we say they get accident on the way. The match finish or something where they won't come out because of the tear gas. Boys won't get to some safe place where they won't go choke where the rest is hopping. That time, then Kufor, they, Kufor be president. And like I say that time, the late doctor, the late Alaji Ali Muhammad, the vice president, they go 37 and things. Where they go see their bodies. Charlie, if you see the pictures, you go shocked. Human beings where they, they lie ground. So one or two women, there's but more of them be men, you know, some one or two kiddies and since they inside. Human beings where they, they lie ground for 37 for the hospital. They lie ground, lifeless. They die. All because they won't go watch ball with some yard go happen. And also they watch the pictures. This be the pictures. For those where they, they watch, and this be the time. You see, people they cover them and nose and since because then the tear gas two days, so they, they cover them and nose. So say they go get air, they go get proper air breeze. See, this be the pieces of chairs where they throw put there. This is some fan where they, they chalk for some side, where Charlie, if they relax. So this be how the stampede happen. Now, a few months later, they set up the Okujeto Commission. Some Okujeto, renowned lawyer, he being head that commission. So make it go into the reasons why the disaster happened. Now, for context sake, 127, if you compare them to 
other disasters because then the earliest park disaster happened for South Africa. Will be like they be 140, 141, but the bottom line we say May 9th will be one of the biggest for the African continent. At the Kai then CNN, BBC, more international media houses carry that story because they never hear someone before say Ghana power way boys go watch boy where they die. So they set up the Okuja Full Commission. Make you look into why it happened like that. Where they go through uh, where they bring the police people. Pass all the recommendations. They talk to each other. The police no try. Why are you fire tear gas and things? That's our story. But one of the biggest things we come out for that commissioning report inside, we say, they talk about the stadium exit. So if you go, not too long after they redesigned the stadium, where now it take the shape as we all know today. So now if you go to the stadium, more exits today. If you do some side, you go, if you take commerce and things, they be bigger and stuff like that. Where they talk about fan behavior, you know, and things. Because then one of the rumors they fly about that day, we say then some people take, take some things where they come the ground there. So now they regulate where and when they be sell alcohol. Several things, several things, but that be on the side. Now one key member or one key person with he did there that day, be Kotoko chairman at the time, Herbert Mensah. Then he be the Kotoko chairman at the time. Where he see more things. It be, men I feel like if he wants base Herbert Mensah. It be get the juice or because some of the people they hurt, it be in car, they take them, put go to the hospitals there. It moved from hospital to hospital just to check, say, if boys day and things. So he, from 2001 to now, the May 9 matter, there is day in heart. So if you mention May 9, your man go feel weak and cry fed. Because there is see plenty of things where it happen. The people on the heart of Oakside, Alaji Hart, Alaji Fawa, Zouk, Hariza Kaur, more people. Now the Gbese Manche, Tommy Okan, more people day there that night. Where they go fit tell you the stories all. So every year, after, after that, every year, we the mark May 9. I know some people wait from that day, packs if they no go some. I know some people wait from that day. If they mention Ghana football, then they're my heart. I know some people that, from that day, stadium, if you say make it go stadium, if you no go. Because then he did. I know somebody where he go watch that game, if. In lucky, be say, you know, he left a little early before the game going. So he no see the yawa. I know somebody where he did there as the yawa happened. Where he make lucky, he no hurt. He make unconscious for some side way later, they revive him way, he go out and things. So let's talk about Herbert Mensah. So, in the idea inside from beginning till now, where in the year 2023, as usual, May 9 catch, we go do one a ceremony. I trust my producers go take them pictures, put there. We go do May 9, we, you know, we do May 9 walk and things. We they take care of the fans, we they take care of the families. And also Herbert Mensah, there are more of the families, they support them. It creates some foundation where they help them, you know, and things. So this is what this is what we do. We take Mark May knife. Yeah, we they do Momo May. You know, say guy, there this kind of thing that we like. Momo May and things we go dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But make we listen, Herbert Mensah. Make we listen to what he, he get talk about May knife and what he they do 22, 23 years after the sad event we happened for our class sports stadium. Well, if you want to bring about change, you keep doing it. If you want people not to forget, you keep doing it. May 9th, we've spoken enough. Everybody understands the pain, the loss of what happened in that time, and we respect it every single year. This year, we're supporting this wonderful foundation, uh, the Shen Yang and Shen Yue Foundation, Hole in the Heart Victims. And uh, the owner, YC, has done an incredible job. His son suffered from it. He invested in it to make sure the son will be okay. And I persuaded him to help Ghanaians. And uh, he's committed to 20 a year. As you know, each operation is between six and 13, 14,000 American dollars. And we've already done 10 this year, eight successfully. And these are some of the children. As you can see, they're back to full strength. Beautiful, beautiful children. So every year we try and do something different. We have flood victims here. We have atomic blast victims here. We have May 9th victims here. And that is the theme. It's not a big deal. If you want to help, you help. You pray for peace. You don't pray for violence. And for us, we're out there to try and encourage people to see, to learn, to understand. Do they listen? We can only try. That's all we can do. So that we hear that, Mensa. 22 years on, it's still the support. It's still day. Now they move on. They expand up. They include holding heart people and things. It won't help. You see, because then he did he see some more. He the boy, he go watch some. 
there will be court or court chairman. Well, like I talk, it be in car inside, they take, take some people, put where they rush them, go hospital and thing. So, you see, you no know more fans where that event destroyed them my life. I know some people where them are puppies die for May 9th. So, them are life all sports. Some people there, they feel move on and things. But more people, the incident really scarred them. So, as they did right now, if you mention Hass and Kotoko, they won't go some different place because they no one see some. So, Herbert, they are the force, they try. Will that be what we for do? Because the main night, you know, we say, oh, the 127 people, they die, so they die, go. No. As they die, it be learning point. That they bring me nicely to my next part. Say, 22 years on, we as a country, we have we learned in the thing, we learn something from inside and out. You see, if you go, go to some experience, it for change you. Like, you there where you get right. So, you know, the service they right, where they right spoil. So the engine spoil. You know, if you buy new engine, but you get money, go buy new ride. The next ride you go buy, you know, you go take care of them because you see some before. But I be like, we there know. Because in the year 2023, we still they misbehave. Ghana football, 2023, people they feel go watch ball, then they throw stone and things onto the pitch. They, they attack players. They, they beat referee. 2020, recently, Adriana, then Tama, see, Adriana and this be 2023. 2023, in the era of Twitter, social media, face ID, technology, chat GPT. See what we do. We they throw stone. We they destroy people, them are bass and things. That's what we they do. Then we say Ghana football, we won't make it catch some place. You ever tune into English football where they throw stone before? Or you watch La Liga where ask somebody board the referee, you know, it throws stone. Or ask something can beat them or something, it takes stone, whack, whack in bass. See, 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 see. This be Tamale City. See what it happened to them. In the year 2023, then we say we won't develop Ghana football. And then I get some ban, but that be where it the end. Just a ban. The next time, they go go back, where they go do extra. A few years ago, you know, check, two, three seasons ago, for Cape Coast, Dwarfs then, so it be like Dwarfs and Brekum Chelsea. They beat referee make us as if my heart caught. They defeat beat coaches. Fans, they feel tear in a perimeter. So, a story where I see, if it be some funny story, but it be serious story, some match I watch like that. The ref, they handle the match. As the match ends, now some fans tear the inner perimeter where they jump onto the, where they, they chase the referee all over the place. Why? Because of refereeing decision. I know referees where they attack them, beat, beat them. Then they are me and my colleagues, we they laugh, but it be true. They attack referee. We they, they beat them. I see some women's football. That one's as I see, they form at all. Women's football. And you see, some official, I see some official or some security agency, they attack referee, they beat referee. Hey, Ghana. Make we see Adriana. So Adriana, as they do that thing, see, they give them temporary ban from using the Nanajman Bedu Park because that be their home ground. So the GFA the regulation say, if you misbehave, they go ban you from your home ground. That be the best you go get, ban. Because on April 2nd, they beat or they attack Tamale City where they destroyed them Abbas. Now the GFA say in, the, in line with regulation in Article 14.2, the GFA may order the closure of any league center where the safety of clubs, match officials, and spectators cannot be guaranteed. So that be what they take to the Adriana. They give them temporary home ban. You know what it they mean? It means that after the home ban, you go fit go back and misbehave some more. Because that be what we they do. We they run Ghana football. We know they feel punish people because I don't know if like the May night it be date, it just be date or something. But May night like if for change plenty things. May night if for change plenty things. But since 2001 or between 2001 and 2022, the incident be plenty. The same house and Kotoko, they go play some match for Kumase some years back. Some minor incident happened. And every year, we they celebrate May night. So why would they celebrate the May night? Would they celebrate what? Say something happened? Or if we they celebrate, would they take change stuff? Would they go watch game? Then coaches, they attack officials. 
players, they attack officials. Fans, they attack teams. Some this day for if you go play ball for their problem, give you because if the team no beat you, and the home fans go beat you. Why? In 2023, we say we want to develop Ghana football. We say we want to develop Ghana football. Between 2001 and now, that we get different FAs. Ben Kofi own camp pass. Kwasi Nantechi own camp pass. Normalization committee. Now Keso Kweku in time. Still, we they suffer from fan hooliganism. Why? If you say the ball, we don't want to do or we want to do some and left some, I don't know. Because after 127 people die, fan hooliganism there, we for root them out, complete. Like by this time, if you go misbehave, then they for catch you quick and deal with you. But we still they treat fan hooliganism like it be football matter. No, it don't be football matter. It be criminal conduct. So me say now the GFA and the security officials they for meet and discuss these components because you see, the GFA they go fit handle the sports inside. They go fit give you ban. But the criminal conduct of say you go take stone and take whack referee. Or take whack somebody in team but don't it be criminal. Anyway, make we listen, Prosper Harris and it be the GFA the general secretary. If they talk about fan hooliganism, where he say you they talk about I don't know all the progress, but you make we listen, Prosper Harris and it be GFA the general secretary. Uh, thank you very much. I think that um, um, over the years uh, since um, the 9th of May 2021. Uh, we've seen some improvement in terms of the regulation itself, in terms of safety and security, uh, the stadium architecture, uh, the mindset of people, and uh, and other other things. Um, the key part uh, is human behavior. Uh, you can make the best laws, you can make the uh, build the best sta stadia. If the individuals uh, do not change the mindset and do not see each other as fellow Ghanaians, fellow sports fans who have come to enjoy football. Uh, and that uh, they do not see the game for what it is. A football is a sport, uh, just like any other sporting um, activity. Uh, there are various outcomes. And the, the fact that there are various outcomes is the very reason why we love football. For I dare say, if all football matches are to end in one particular way, I don't think anybody would follow football. But the fact that we know that on a particular day, um, a less fancy team, a less finance team, a less uh, resource team in terms of the players and everything can come to the play and come to the party and beat uh, a, a well resourced team or the favorite. That is the very reason why we love football. Because if the favorite will win all the time, there will be no need for other teams to play. And so once we understand sports that is supposed to give us enjoyment and it's entertainment, and that involves human beings uh, who are prone to human error. Um, and so there will be chances for both sides and then uh, we'll have a win, a draw, or a loss. You can lose a match. And so once we understand it that way, I think that we will live within the rules and then we'll obey um, the laid down standards that have been put at the uh, various park. And we'll come and enjoy our game and go back uh, safely. I've said on numerous occasions, over the few years I have lived, I've seen uh, Asante Kotoko win continuously. Uh, I've seen them to lose for a normal of, uh, of a number of years. I've seen other teams beat um, Accra of Folk, Accra Gate Olympics or Kotoko. So there will be days you will win and there will be days you will lose. And when you lose or when you win, you just have to uh, behave in moderation. When you are enjoying, you enjoy in moderation. When you lose, you kettle your your uh, your hunger, uh, and then you look forward to the next game, because on, on the, that occasion you would also win and you also jubilate. 
and I know over the years there are people who support us and but their best friends are as of fans. There are people who support as of folk and their best friends are Kotoko fans. Same for Olympics or Azakes or any of the other teams. And so when we come to enjoy the match, we don't come as enemies. Uh, we come only as opponents on the day after the match. We all dance together and then we sit in the same cars and we go home because there will be another game. That be Prosper Harrison Ade. He be the GFA the match general secretary. Interesting thoughts. You know, that is the talk there be true. Say, you know, we be brothers, you know, yeah. You know, we all like hearts, kosoko, dancing, dancing. But you see, that know they <laughs> that they mean say people no go misbehave. So what do they do then people when they misbehave? Because they're about me, I'll go watch, I know we we'll misbehave. But what if the other guy he vexed me, he start throw something at the referee? What will they that guy know? How will they handle him? Because if the addition of that guy then in Paddy, then the other people, if you add them, they be the trouble causes. So how will they handle them? Means they lost for bites. The GFA and the Ghana police, most especially, they for collaborate more. We for find ways and means. So say we go take pick out the fans when they misbehave. All they boil down to because the game no really develop and other structures around the game no develop. It hard. If I go buy, if I go to the stadium right now, I they go buy tickets, watch game. Nine times out of ten, the tickets they go sell give me. That no be the match they did. I go watch some board the other day. It be hard than something. They sell me Ghana and Togo tickets. This one, how did they take track perpetrated? How? So my party be when I call it, you go watch some match. They give them under 23 tickets. So this one, if somebody misbe, how you go take catch them? The tickets, they no label them, say tap here or tap here. So I go fit tap anywhere, then I go fit do anything I like. Why? Because we know build structures, so we go tap, we go catch the perpetrators. So as they wrap up. The GFA, they, they try. Of course, between 2001 and now, 127 fans no die at a goal. Maybe progress. But if we some points where even if one person go past go misbehave, you go fit fish them out and catch them. If you catch somebody where you jail them, and no say it go stop some other people. Somebody they, you know, like learn from third hand. It won't see. So that person, if you catch them, where you throw them put inside, five years, 10 years, 20 years, the next time some other guy go here say they, they misbehave for part, he go tap in chair inside quiet because he don't say they catch him, he they go inside. Until when, until the day we go start punish perpetrators of match violence, we will be giving them bans, we go give them fine, we go do what we go like, we go do then, then things. You know what I mean? That was what I get to. Anyway, this is the football made in Ghana. We go take some break. If you come back, I go bring the guys, make day two talks on one or two things. Then we go dive into the because <laughs> Charlie Trouble Day because more things they happen for that cloud inside. We go discuss all of that and more. This is the football made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan. We go come back right now. Make you no go anywhere. <laughs>